Hey, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cool vignette area of interest mask kind of things in ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Online. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro and I have a layer of UK National Parks. This is Loch Lomond National Park. Let's say in my map layout, I want to have everything outside of the National Park to be kind of faded away and have a gradual fade of full view of the National Park and then fade out these non-National Park areas. Here's how you can do that using blend modes. I'll open the symbology for our area of interest. For the fill, we'll make it solid black. And for the stroke, we need to make it a gradient stroke and make it ginormous. And we'll go from white to black and hit apply. And I've made a weird looking thing here, but the reason I've made this is because we're gonna use blend modes to punch through to see fully everything that's black. Next, I'm going to add data and look within Living Atlas for a layer called Global background my favorite layer here it is I'll drag it underneath my area of interest polygon layer and I'll make it totally white and I hit apply then I'll group these two layers and give them a blend mode called screen what screen does is ignore everything that's black and show everything that's white and everything in between renders as such. So now we have kind of a neat little angelic faded vignette area of interest. You can tweak this, of course. Maybe I want to give this a little bit more breathing room. So let's open up this gradient stroke symbol and I can just dig into this appearance color scheme and chew away a little bit more space for the national park. See? Now, if I wanted to show a little bit of context here and not have it faded out to totally white, I can come back up here to this group layer and give it a transparency of 10 or 20%. And I've also found that if you're looking for a more subtle version, instead of screen blend mode, you could consider the soft light blend mode. It'll actually deepen and richen the colors of your area of interest and fade back the areas outside of it. Well, what about in ArcGIS Online? Well, here I am in the map viewer and I have a layer. This time it's showing the Cairngorms of Scotland and I've got it colored black. And I'll add in, you guessed it, my favorite layer, global background. And I'll create a new group. Expand it and I'll drop global background into it and put it underneath our area of interest layer. And this one will make white. So now we have our black area of interest, white outside of our area of interest, and our group layer, make sure you have the group layer selected, we can apply that screen blend mode. But it's so abrupt because we don't have the ability to have a gradient stroke in ArcGIS Online, but no problem because we have effects in ArcGIS Online. So I'll choose effects and I'll select blur. And then it's just a matter of blurring to taste. And if I want to lighten the background here, I can just come back up to the properties and push this back a little bit. Here's another area of interest. This time I'm using an imagery base map and it would look better if this was a black vignette instead of a white vignette. I'll just show you how to switch this. So in the layers, open up the group. The background, instead of white, I'll just make it black. I'm just gonna switch these things. Done. And the area of interest source, I'm gonna make this one white instead of black. Now with this group, I currently have a screen blend mode, so it's kind of the inverse of what I want. I'm gonna go to the blends, and instead of screen, I'm gonna choose its opposite, which is multiply. Now it shows everywhere where it's black and ignores everything that's white and has a gradient of opacity for that grayscale gradient in between. And that's how you can apply vignette overlays to your map in ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS Online. 
light vignettes, and dark vignettes. Have fun! Also, check out the links in the description below to see some videos that my friend Tommy has made where he takes vignettes to like the 18th level and he even tiles them up. Thanks for watching.